This is a walkthrough of my hair curling process. It's one of the requests that I received via email. I really hope that some of my tips will be able to help you. Enjoy! Either a cream. This one is the one by Mukota. Or you could also use the one by Huari. I personally use the OM sea salt spray. And I also use the V05 hairspray as well. These brushes, this one's by Kent and it's a round brush. And I also use one of these sharp combs. The curler that I use is the Salonia curler. And this one I bought from Japan from Don Quixote. It can go up to 220 degrees Celsius, so make sure that you're careful. And I haven't been doing my hair in a long time, so you're going to be seeing my crazy roots. I've got imaging coming up next month, so I want to wait until then before doing my hair so we can save a trip. And um, something that I always do when I have my curling tong on is I always have a cloth with me, a towel to put my tong on top of. This Alonia one comes with two functions. One is the curling function and the other one if you check the tab at the back you've got curl and straight so if you push it down to straight it actually pops up and it becomes a hair straightener instead and that is awesome for me because I use both of those functions when I do my hair the first thing that I do before starting is I always try to separate my hair out so I don't touch my fringe at first I just take my index fingers round about over here I've actually got a really huge mirror in front of me as well. I think that it really helps to have your reflection and just to see where you are going because the curler is very, very hot and the last thing you want is to touch your hands with the curler. And I and that has happened to me before. I swear it hurts so much. So please be careful when you're using the tongs. I'll just take my index fingers, go right on top of my ears and just like trace it out in a line all the way to the back. And just do this okay and then I'm going to use that clip that I used just now that's why I was using that clip it's to remind me to have it with me and I'm tying it in like a sort of a bun on top of my head so it doesn't get in the way when I'm working with the rest of my hair I'm just gonna clip it up and now we can start with the bottom layer. I do this to make sure that as many of the sections of my hair can get curled as possible. From the back, divide it into two, and you've got these two sections. And from these two sections, try to separate it, for me, I try to separate it into three sections. It may not necessarily be equal, and that's totally okay by the way, no one's gonna like measure the amount of hair that you're using. And what I always do is I want to end up where my face is, I want to end up with an outward curl for that. So I will always start using this and clip it closer to your face first because it's the ends of your hair that will get the split ends and the burns and everything. So what I always do is I always try to make sure that I start from the side that is newer, that's fresher, and then I go all the way downwards. And I just curl it upwards. Hold on to the end and pull the curler down while you're doing like this little motion with your with the with the part that come that flaps up. So that should be the section that spends the least time nearest to the curler surface. And that should be enough. And there you got one curl already. And tip, do not touch it. Don't go and touch it. And then take the next section. And this time I'm going to flip from, just now I used this. Now I'm going to use the back of it, like that, close to your face, curl it inwards. 
This is the difference between an in and out work curl, by the way. I know that you might be seeing a little bit of smoke, but that's totally okay. Don't freak out. This is also known as the mix curl, which is a combination of both in and out work curls. Okay, and so now we're going to move on to the next section of our hair. So you got all that big chunk up there that you haven't done. And what you want to do is you want to keep the curled sections in front. That's for me, okay? I keep it in front that, so that I have like an organized way to work my hair. And from here, I'll take like another section. See over here? Yeah, so you just keep like taking new sections of hair and working with that. So don't attempt to work with your entire body like entire head of hair at once because the curls are not going to hold the heat can't get evenly to all of the parts of your hair so um and that's one of the primary reasons why um curls don't hold and that's just it doesn't work that way yes if you only want to do two sections that's also possible so what you have to do is you start with the inward curl like that it takes a bit of practice, but like, it's not rocket science and you're, you will get used to it sooner or later. So even if you feel really awkward, like you feel like an octopus, it's fine. Yeah, and so as you go along, you can keep checking your hair for like bits that you haven't curled yet. And then you can go back and curl those bits. And even if your hair doesn't look even, If you go back and look at all of my events photos, you'll notice that one side is more curled than the other and it's usually the left side for me that is more curled than the other. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come back after, after I'm done with the rest of my head. So just keep going and doing the same thing until you get to the top. And so I just finished curling the main part of my hair. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to curl the fringe area as well because if you were to curl your entire head and then like not do anything to your fringe personally I don't really like that um, and so this is what I usually do I will take my fingers and try to separate my fringe into two sections so you got this bottom section over here and you got this section that you haven't touched and what I'll usually do with that section is I'll get one of those flat clips like one of these and I will pin this to the top of my head for the time being. <laughs> and from here, I'll take the flat section and... Okay, notice that with my hair, I've got this section and I've got this section that I will not be touching. Okay, I won't be touching that. So I'm only taking, starting from here up to here yes up to here and then what I'm going to do is clip this here just give it a bit of a curl then release that section and let's start with the top part this is the same concept as separating your hair just now Yes, and this is how I get my poofy fringe. And now comes the other part that's important. This part over here, you notice looks extremely flat right now. And I hate that. So what I'll usually do is index fingers. Just take some hair from the crown section and lift that section up. From here, I will use the flat iron and just do this bottom 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 and that's it and it gives what it does is it gives a little bit of a of a poof at this these two areas can you see these two areas now so now it looks like there is a gradual curve that starts from the top of your head rather than just like poof, in the middle of nowhere. Now today I'm going out in like this t-shirt 
with my sleeves and everything that I bought for 390 yen when I was in Japan and so I want BT curls so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my OM my sea salt spray and I'm gonna work some magic I don't want my hair to look like this. I want it to look relaxed, slightly more relaxed. So what you can do is you can comb it out after you put your sea salt spray. And what that does is it relaxes the curls. Do you see? So this, which will also hold, versus this, the very well-defined curls. Oh, by the way, don't really go into your hair and pull downwards. You just have to like go lightly over your hair. I haven't done anything to my fringe yet because I want to introduce you to this. Now this is my transparency. In the past when I used my hairspray, I would just indiscriminately just mist my entire hair, including my face, with hairspray. Um, and I found out later on that that's kind of bad for the skin. So what I do now is I have a piece of transparency so that I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I used to use like this cardboard and I just, I just be like... <coughs> so over here, because it's a transparency so it's bendable, just fit it around your face and fit your fringe over it. Hello! And then, give it a light mist. Yeah, so basically that's about it. Make sure that you try not to overload your hair with products because if you put too much hairspray or if you put too much heat protectant, what it does is it weighs the hair down instead. Now I'm gonna teach you how you can style your hair after you've done your curls. So, first things first switch off your hair curler so what you can do is grab some of your hair and then twist this section push it up a little bit so it gives a little bit of poof at the top and then clip it in place that's simple it's so easy! Like, you can do your hair with up or down or whatever style that you want after you curl your hair. And this is why I tell you that your curls don't have to be perfect because you don't necessarily need to go out with just a full head of curls. With this, I could even tie it up into a ponytail. Because I already did this section, you see this? This, this like ridge type of business this is actually caused by that flat iron doing that and that just now so it's already done for me I don't have to do very much or I could even like twist it up and pin it here pin it here and it becomes like this lovely like cascade of curls coming down at the back and so my main message is don't panic when you're doing your hair. Don't be afraid of the curling iron, but do be very careful with it. And this is the final product. Please do leave me a question in the comment section should you have any, and I'd be happy to answer them. If you have any other video requests that you'd like me to do, any other tutorials that you'd like me to do, please also do leave me a comment or drop me an email. Um, I'm on Twitter, and I'm on Instagram, and I'm also on Facebook. Please do subscribe as well. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. <laughs> and while my tongue curls, I think I'm gonna need a bleep button. Are you focused? No, you're not focused. Focus.